Hello everyone. Today, we will provide an overview of Global Admin Console. GAC introduces a new role, an interface change, and it's based on the premise of hierarchy. Now we'll go into the demo. So here's the Adobe Global Admin Console. So GAC has been integrated on an admin console. So now leveraging the globe icon, a global admin now has access to this interface. To the left, Global Admin Console demo environment represents the root console. This is where global admins are appointed and have access to those five key tabs as mentioned prior. For example, on Department 1, Department 2, and Department 3. These consoles represent existing consoles or they were created leveraging Global Admin Console functionality. So for the first tab, we'll look at the Organization Mapper tab. Global admins must also be system admins to bring or nest in any ad admin consoles within their Adobe Admin Console environment. For example, to bring an existing admin console into the global environment, a global admin would leverage the Organization Mapper tab, select step one, And then all subsequent consoles will then populate in the step two below. Now, once the global admin identifies the target console, they would select the box, then review pending changes in step three. We would submit those changes and wait for that job to run successfully. Now, we've created I'm sorry, we've brought in existing consoles into the global admin console environment with no impact to end users. For example, today, any system admins that were on the console that we nested into that environment, they would not have any insight into this global admin console structure. There is no impacts or downtime required to doing so. Now, moving on to how another use case as to how the department one or two admin consoles were able to join into the environment, I will turn it over to Moog as he will go through the policies, user groups, admins, and things that will kind of correlate to creating a net new console in GAC. So prior to creating a net new organization, we also we always wanted to review the policies for that console. Um, you can find a full breakdown of these on our help page. Uh, that lays out and details all of these policies. Once you are satisfied with the conditions um, of these policies, you can click on this plus button to create a net new child organization. Um, to keep it convention, let's call this department four as an example. Um, you can select a country or region to, to associate with this console. Um, this is a change that can only be done at console creation. Uh, you can always revise the name of the console at a later stage if, if you ever needed to. Um, as an example, in this case, let's select Canada as a country code. We can go ahead and click Save. Um, as with any of the uh, processes within Global Admin, you always need to review and submit the changes for these um, changes to go through and occur. Once this is complete, you can navigate back to the organization section and see the net new console getting created with no products, no admins, and no users. Um, you can then uh, create new admin accounts um, that would be uh, specifically for this new console. Um, any existing user groups on your console that you'd like to share can also be uh, shared across various IMS organizations using the group projection feature. To do so, you would just select one of the user groups on the main console level and use the share user group button uh, to determine what consoles would need access to this user group. This would then allow department four in this case to view that user group uh, once that change is submitted and allocate products to it to its members uh, from uh, the department for console without the need uh, without the ability to edit the membership of that group. Now that we'll look at the next tab, which is the product allocations tab. The products allocations tab is where global admins have insight into all of the license quantity 
that was purchased on their contract. By leveraging the branch sign, here is where our global admins would identify any products that's affiliated with their agreements. There's also a key call out here. As you can see, we have allocatable at the top. This means that products are able to be shared across their organization using this functionality. For the next phase of this demo, we'll walk you through actually allocating those entitlements to a console that Amog just created, leveraging GAC functionality, as well as allocating products to a console that exists today within the global environment. To allocate product to any new console that was created through the Global Admin Console, like Department 4 in this example, you can click on this plus icon, which will then bring up this interface to enter the number of licenses for that product that you'd like to allocate to that console. Um, this makes this quantity of licenses available to any of the system admins of that console who can then uh, distribute the licenses amongst their users. Um, you can do this for any of the various allocatable products that are part of your um, ETLA agreement. Um, but certain products such as uh, DX products would not be available to be allocated uh, in this manner. Uh, like uh, we can see with the signed sandbox solution uh, under the non-allocatable section. You can also use this interface to monitor the usage of various products and their licensing across the various consoles within the GAC. Like you can see with department one here with 50 users currently licensed, uh, even though they were granted a quantity of 45. Um, you can export all of these as a CSV using this three, uh, using this uh, three dot button at the top, on the top right of the screen. As always, we always do need to review and submit and submit these changes um, before the system admins can uh, see the updated quantity of licenses on their console. Awesome. Our insights tab is where global admins have the ability or capability to pull audit logs for all of the consoles within their global admin hierarchy structure. Um, audit logs may be pulled or they're maintained for 90 days with specific events. To identify which specific events, I would also refer you to the, our Global Admin Console Help X. Recently, we have released a feature um, within the Global Admin Console for support. On the Job Execution tab, this will allow Global Admins to identify what changes were made at a global level by any other Global Admins. But here is Global Admin Console at a high level. 